What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went directly to the Celadon City Gym because... Yeah, why switch out Pokemon right at that point when we're going into a Grass-type Gym? Might as well use the, the Fire-type Pokemon. Am I right? Now, one thing that I probably should have done, probably should have evolved Growlithe while I had the chance... But I'm a little impulsive, so it's whatever. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to take a tour of Celadon City now. In all its glory. And, uh, well, hopefully we, we, we actually find some interesting stuff. Now, as you can see, Team Rocket is here. He's like, what do you think you're doing to run around here? We're Team Rocket, don't you know? Yeah, I do know. So, first thing is first. I see items all around this area. I kind of want to just, uh, I kind of want to grab them. I don't know why. Uh, let's see, Pikachu's tail is not wagging on this area. So, we're gonna go straight right here, and we found our Pokeball. And look at that, we found ourselves a Nugget, which will come in handy, because we're gonna be going into the Celadon department store, and this is perfect, too, because we did add a Lowland Sandshrew onto our team, and, uh, I just found out... Go, like, go figure, man. Like, I just found out that, yeah, you evolve a Lowland, uh, a Lowland Sandshrew through an Ice Stone. Didn't even know there was an ice stone. So grab this, and we found ourselves a rare candy. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so we're we're definitely doing something right here. And well, as you probably already know, this is the back back door to this area right here. And well, let's get let's go ahead and see what's going to be going on right here. Going right here, going up here, and we're going to continue on uh, going up. I don't know how. We're ending up on the left side rather than the right side. And here we are on the back side of the area. Now, as many of you guys already know, in the original games, including the set, the, the first remakes, this is where you usually get an Eevee. Now, I don't think you get an Eevee in this one right here. So, if, let's see. Let's talk to this guy. As you can see from all my notes on the board, there's nothing that I don't know. I even know that you that the whole world the whole world can be found from inside your Nintendo Switch. So connect with friends and enjoy trading Pokemon with one another. Okay, alrighty, so let's see. A uh, pamphlet of TMs written by Silfco. Da da da. It says that there are 60 TMs or technical machines in all. And then, let's see. There is a good deal of uh, text written on the board titled Link Trades and Battles. Will you read it? Sure. If you'd like to trade or battle with other trainers, choose Communicate in the main menu and select Play with Others. Choose other, either local wireless or internet connection to communicate with other player. Then choose the trade or select a battle format. If you and another player enter the same link code, you will be connected. And I did that one time with a close friend of mine right here. Traded a few Pokemon, you know, that kind of stuff. And here is the TM44 play rough. Like I said, guys, this is where you would normally get an Eevee. But I think right here, this is not like... I think they switched it out right here. So now we're going to be going to the front area and doing everything else, I guess. Probably. I don't even know. So, how are you guys doing? How's everybody out there? And if you guys are, uh, and if you guys are still in school, how is school going? Online school, I should say. For me, I have friends. I have, I have friends. I have clients who, you know, are getting very, very tired of this whole online testing online uh, teaching and on top of that homeschooling so that's gonna be that's a funny situation right there now here's this guy and we can finally see his polyrath look at this this is my trusted pal polyrath it evolved from a polyworld when I used the water stone on it that is true and would you look at that it is Brock hey I didn't expect to run into you here I'm on my way back from visiting the Celadon City gym Keeping in touch with other gym leaders is part of our duties, after all. Dot, dot, dot. The girls at the gym all turned me away for some reason, though. Probably because you're not a pimp and you don't got a, a nice, majestic beard like I do. I don't know. Actually, have some uh, pewter, or have some pewter crunchies. I brought them as a gift uh, to the gym uh, here. And look at that. We got more pewter crunchies. Do not know what that means. But it's good to have. Oh, and you're probably going to want to uh, want some tea after eating them. Pewter crunchies and uh, make you, or pewter crunchies can make you thirsty. And here we have a cup of tea, which we can use for something else. 
Ah, I don't have enough time, uh, enough left to give to that uh, thirsty guard now. Dot, dot, dot. Anyway, it looks like you've been visiting the gyms in other cities. I wish you the best. All right, Brock. I'll see you later. Okay, so let's see. This is the cell, uh, sell it on condominiums. Never ever use them. So let's go right ahead and take on a. We'll go on an adventure right here and talk to this lady. Being surrounded by my beloved Pokemon while enjoying some rest and nice in a nice cup of tea. Moments like these mean the most to me. That is true. That is very very true. Okay, so let's go right ahead and just take a look at everything else. Let's see. Uh, I think we're gonna find the the game freak uh, guy right here. Let's see. I'm having a meeting with the impo an important client. You want to join in? Probably. I don't know. What kind of client is this? Oh boy. Must be nice working at a company where you don't ever have to wear a suit. Hmm. Then why are you wearing a suit? I, 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 I'm kind of questioning that right there. Now, if you guys are wondering, I don't have to wear a suit for where I work at. Trust me on that one. That is awesome. And, well, let's see. I think these are the Game Freak guys. Let's see. I'm a graphic artist. I'm the one who designed you. You don't say. Me? I'm a programmer. You don't say. And look at that. The Nintendo Switches are, like, right there. Wow. Welcome, Pokemon Trainer. You probably won't know what I'm talking about, but come back once you've earned a title. Okay. A title. And if you talk to this guy, I am the game director. I'm very happy that you're playing this game. Good luck with filling up your Pokedex. If you collect all the Pokemon, let me know. Of course, we're just going to get a diploma. That's pretty much it right there. And I wrote the story. Hey, tell me. Don't you think Erica's cute? Hell yeah. I like Misty a lot, too. Oh, and Sabrina. I like her, too. Yeah, they're all my girlfriends, bro. I mean, you know, pimping ain't easy. You know, Godfather. Pimping ain't easy. So let's go straight up right here. And, well, we're in the back side. And here we have the other item that we needed to get. And we found ourselves three health candies. Very, very good for our HP, I believe. Yes. And if you guys are wondering, yes, I have been using the, the candies on my Pokemon. Trust me. I've been doing that. Uh, eventually, like, you know, you feed you feed your Pokemon certain candies for multiple times. You, eventually, you're going to have to, like, feed them, like, twice, three times, you know, three times the amount. And, it, yeah, it's just, it's just one big old hassle right there. So now... We're going to be going straight to the Celadon City department store because this is the place where we're going to need to grab some cool items. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see. Hello. Welcome to the Celadon, Celadon department store. Please check the board on the back to the store directory. Okay. Let's go. Let's see. Talk to this lady. Nothing. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk to or see this. First floor service counter, second floor trainer's market, third floor video game shop, third, fourth floor Wiseman gifts, fifth floor accessory market, and the roof relaxation space and vending machines. Okay, let's see. Hey, look, it's a picture of Erica. Exclusive interview with the Celadon City gym leader. Good things come to those who nap. Challengers come too. Oh, wow. Yeah, she, she loved to nap. Okay. And, uh, okay, so let's go right up and just start buying some stuff, selling some stuff, because we definitely need some stuff. Lots of stuff. And, well, here we are in the technical machine shop. And as you can see, we got some uh, moves right here that we can actually use. Like, Waterfall used to be a used to be a, an HM, but now it's a TM. A TM. Uh, here we have Tri Attack, Bulk Up, and then Shadow Ball. Hyper Beam is a little bit uh, pricey right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell, we're gonna build up the uh, the revenue right here, and then we're gonna eventually just start selling a bunch of stuff to get all these items. Uh, of course, I will be using them on all my Pokemon that I'm gonna be using. And well, let's see, where is that nugget? There it is. And boom. Okay, so we just sold a nice amount. We do have a Moonstone. I could always go back to. Uh, to the cave to get another one. Leaf Stone. Don't necessarily have a bunch of Pokemon now. I could sell a rare candy right here for fifty thousand or five thousand, but I kind of don't want to. Kind of want to use that for later. I don't necessarily use the X attacks or defenses or anything just for whatever. So I'm just gonna sell those guys. And there we go. There we go. I'm selling those guys. 
many of you guys are like, well, like, you, you're gonna need them for, for something else. Yeah. Eventually, guys. So here we are, building our revenue a little bit. Now, let's go see what this guy has to say. Let's see. Who, what do you sell? Well, now that you defeated uh, the gym leader, you can actually get more Pokeballs, including Ultra Balls, which I will eventually get. Uh, let's see. I think off screen I'm gonna I'm gonna start capturing some Pokemon, you know, leveling up my Pokemon too. Right after I evolve, uh, right after I evolve Leonardo, and here we are into I don't remember the gaming corner right here. Talk to this guy. I need to go to use a restroom, but here comes another guest. The new guy who's supposed to take over my shift is running late. Here, take this thing. If I have to skedaddle, maybe it can inspire you to cover me. We get ourselves the TMO3 helping hand. TMO3 is helping hand. Helping hand will boost the power of an ally's attacks during the battle. Pretty cool. Very cool. And look at this. It's just like Nintendo has gotten with the times right here. We got Apple. We got HP. We got the Nintendo Switch. Uh, you know, flat screen TVs. Holy crap. Just a bunch of stuff that, you know, that has progressed from over the years. Like back then, it was like big old TV from the back. Like with a big old back, now it's just flat screen. It's just freaking awesome. Now here we are, and I guess the I don't remember the accessories corner. This guy right here will sell you stones. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy some stones from this guy, and I'm gonna buy one of each, except for a grass, for a leaf stone, because I will be evolving some Pokemon off screen. Uh, fire, thunder, and water. I, I do have. A, I did transfer all the evolutions into my uh, my account right here, so don't worry about that. I just didn't transfer Eevee, which we will get to later. And Ice Stone. This is what we need for a specific Pokemon that we just added on our team. So got all the stones right there. And well, let's see if there's anybody else that can give us any stuff. And uh, this. Oh wow. Okay. So hold on. They don't sell them here, but I've heard there are some amazing stones called Mega Stones out somewhere. This is true. Very, very, very true. And, well, is there anybody else in here that can give me any free stuff? Because I would like that. Hmm. Getting a present for my girlfriend. Hmm. I could give her a water stone, but who knows? It might cause her to evolve. <laughs> and... Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so there are Pokemon that evolve when you use an evolution stone on them. And Pikachu is like not happy. It looks like your Pikachu wants to stick with you just the way it is. Well, I'm never going to evolve this Pikachu, but I will have another Pikachu to evolve and then possibly trade for an Alolan form and stuff. Let's see, talk to this person. This is where you actually can get the accessories. Now, this is the female version of them. Not going there. You can buy glasses right here, uh, Poke Dolls right here, or caps. And hats right here too, I think. Huh. Let's see. Well, let's see. Uh, straw hat, elegant hat. Wow, they are very proud. Very very pricey. So let's go a little goofy right here. Uh, let's see what Diglett cap. Okay, let's buy a Diglett cap. There we go. It's not so much. And let's go to the glasses corner right here. And black framed. There we go. And what else? Let's see. Sunglasses. Let's go with some sunglasses right here. Uh, let's go with some midnight glasses. There we go. Okay, so I'm not going to be spending a lot of money right now because, you know, we do need them for Pokeballs. I think that, like, in the majority of the game, you're going to be spending them all on Pokeballs. And, oh, snap. Pikachu, or Sparky seems to be curious about the vending machine. Let's buy a single drink for every single one of these uh, things because I'm... Look at that, Pikachu got a drink of fresh water. Uh, I think I... Oh, damn! Damn, I just like... Okay, okay, yes. Soda pop, okay. And then... A lemonade. This is where chocolate's made, okay. And if you talk to this girl... I'm thirsty! I want something to drink from the vending machine. Give her a drink, yes. Let's go with a fresh water. Yay! Fresh water. Thank you. You can have this from me. We get ourselves TMO6 light screen. And of course, it reduces the special attacks. And let's give her let's give her a, another drink right here. Soda pop. 
and we get ourselves reflect. This one defends you from physical attacks, and then I believe she gives you guard spec afterwards. So let's go right ahead and uh, go with the lemonade right here. And nope, she gives us protect, which will literally protect us from attacks. So that's pretty much it right there. And then if you talk to homeboy right here, let's see, my sister's trainer. Uh, my sister's a trainer, believe it or not, but she's so selfish that she drives me nuts. So does all all sisters. Well, I'm gonna hike all day to the top of even a department store. That's the destiny for a, of a true hiker. Okay, alrighty. So we're done right here. We got everything that we needed for right now. Again, off screen, we'll be capturing some new Pokemon, doing some cool things, raising up my Pokemon because hell, that's the cool thing to do, right? Right? I think so. Okay, so let's move on right here. And, well, let's see. We've already visited the department store. Let's continue on right here on everything else that we can find in Celadon City. As, as you can see, there's a big old fountain. And if you talk to this girl right here, she's like, hey, I made Pokemon accessories. Go take a look at the fifth floor of the department store. Not going to do that. I already did that. And, well, there is somebody right there waiting for us. Talk to him. Aw, I lost again at the game corner. I guess the people who are so good at the games there must be putting in effort than I do. Wow. Okay. Keep it on running, doing my thing, and talking to this lady. Sell it on City takes a pride in its efforts to keep itself clean and beautiful. The area around the game corner is a different story, though. It gets a bit rough around there. Really? And here we have people talking. Grandma, I'm hungry! What does Grandma have to say? Alright, let's go to the restaurant, shall we? And here we have another Team Rocket member. He's like, What are you staring at? Get lost. Either I'll, you leave or I'll make you leave. Yeah, not too scary for me. You are not scary, homeboy. And here we are in, uh, well, the eating corner right here. And, well, you're not going to find anybody. So if you try and talk to this guy, he's like, Hey, a new face. Welcome. This place is always packed with regulars. Yet he won't feed me. This guy right here is like, Nom, nom, nom. I'll eat, that, I'll eat the curry they, they can carry. Really? Looks like you're getting a tank. Yeesh! I played so much of the game corner that my hands are twitching. Games are oh, are way too fun, uh, way too much fun these days. Wow. And let's see. Hey you! Mm, no, no. You know, I heard. Seems that there's several floors hidden below the game corner. Oh, look at that. And well, let's see. My Pokemon are weak, so I often buy medicines at the department store. Wow. Very helpful advice right there if you talk to everybody right here. And, well, let's go right in here into this door. And you will be finding some T-Rocket members here. This guy. The game corner... The game here... Or the game where, where the Pokemon fly through the sky is a huge hit. We're positively rank, raking in the cash now. I feel like I'm in Cloud 9. Wow. And this guy, Team Rocket member... Maybe if we offered Pokemon as prizes to the top scores, we could uh, make even more money. Huh? What? I wasn't talking to you, kid. This guy. Don't touch the poster at the game corner. There's no secret switches behind any of them. Wow. It's like they're giving you the clues right there. They're giving you, like, they're just letting it out. It's like, hey, this is what we're doing. And I think there's one more place right here. Yes, there is. And this lady right here is going to be talking to you about a hotel. Huh! Pokemon? Oh no, this is a hotel for people. And we're full up, unfortunately. You don't say. Let's see. Came here on vacation with my brother and boyfriend. There's just the three of us. Isn't Celadon a beautiful city? Yes, it is. Talk to this guy. What? Why didn't she bring her brother along too? Wow, he wanted to get it in. Homeboy wanted to get it in. Yippee, I'm on vacation. My sis brought me along. She's the best. Wow. So, the, he's he's really going to have to, like, sneak something. He's going to have to sneak it in just to be with his girl and all that stuff. So, let's see. Going right here. I found this girl. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, shouldn't I be able to reach the gym from here? No, you have to cut. Hmm. Okay, so, before we head to the gym, or the, the, the Celadon City cor uh, Rocket Corner, we're going to be going straight towards the other area right here, and route, well, before the cycling road. And we're going to be eh, taking care of a few things right there. Because maybe... Oh, no. Never mind. 
As you can see, there is a slowpoke, or not a slowpoke, but a, snor a Snorlax right here. And we can't go anywhere else. What does Pikachu want? Let's see. Shaking my thing. What's up? Oh, damn. So shocked at the sheer size of the Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just sur surprised at you. Okay, so just to end it off, let's go to the rocket corner. And let's care, let's take care of business right here. Take care of business. Okay, alrighty. So here is the man that has always believed in us. And Jesse and James are right here, and they're like, There! Come on! Almost got it! Ah, so close. Come on, Jesse. Why don't we head to the hideout now? Oh come on, we've already handed over the cube on to another Team Rocket member. What's the harm in taking a little break? How are we supposed to open the, the hidden entrance to, to the hideout anyway? We just need to check the poster with the vehicle on it, remember? It's a poster with a vehicle. That's the best way to represent us. <laughs> wow, they're giving it away. Now, here's the man that's only that, that's ever believed in us. Oh, you have better things to do, champ in the making. Sell it on city gym leader Erica. She is one of nature and the user of grass type Pokemon. She might look quiet because she does flower arrangements, but she does not. She is not one to be taken lightly. Now, if you take a look at Pikachu's tail, you will be able to find some hidden items right here. Look at that. Where is it? Where is it? Right here. Nope. We're close. We're close. We're close. There it is. And we found ourselves a health candy. Now, sad part is that we can't play any of these games right here, guys. It, it kind of sucks. That's what kind of like, you know, it kind of miss. It, like it kind of makes me angry because like we can't sit. And we can't, we can't get prizes, we can't get, you know, all that stuff has been taken away in this game right here, guys. Well, this lady says, my sweet star you, it likes to watch people playing games. And I sometimes see suspicious looking people in the game corner. I wonder where they up to. Okay, so I'm, fine. I'm, I'm seeing that there's another item right here. So we're going closer, Pikachu, come on. There we are. Tough candy. Alrighty. And, well, talk to this guy. We run out of coins. Uh, also, please don't touch the walls in the game corner without permission. Wow. Everybody here is talking about the corners. Okay, so there's something right here. So before we, before we battle this guy... Let's see. It's right here somewhere. Where are you? Come on. Alright, come on. Let's go. Come on. It's right here somewhere. Okay. All right, Pikachu. It's right here. Damn it. Where is it? Where is it? Damn it. Okay, never mind. Screw it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else right here. Let's see. Talk to this guy. Uh, sky is an inch. Uh, okay, never mind. Okay, so we're going to go straight to the... Uh, hold on. There it is. Got it. Okay, so we're going to be talking to Homeboy right there, and this would be a good time to actually try out our newest Pokemon, Sandshrew. So let's go. I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. Here we go. Another Pokemon battle. We're our only Pokemon battle in this episode. Here we're taking on Team Rocket Grunt, and here he comes out with Eradicate. Alrighty. Let's go. Alolan Sandshrew. I will eventually call it something else. I don't know. I don't think you can call it something else. Look at this Pokemon. Has pretty good moves. Let's go with the Ice Punch. And here comes its Hyper Fang. Not so effective. So here we go. Ice Punch. Bam! Takes a wallop. And so, what we're going to do... Uh, I was going to go with Dig, but... Here comes again. Super, pu or su Super Fang. Let's go again. Another Ice Punch. Yes, sir, and it's not frozen, so let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with a dig attack. Hyper Fang doesn't do anything, and we're burying underneath. Look at that. Come on! Bring it. Bam! And there goes Raticade. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I think we're going to get along very well with our new Sansu. Oh, yes. Dot dot dot. At this rate, the location of the uh, Team Rocket hideout is going to be discovered. I better tell the boss. Well, 
Let's see what's under this, uh, this, this whole thing right here. Hey! A screech behind the poster! Let's push it. And BAM! You heard a loud sound echo somewhere from this floor. Uh-oh, something happened. Okay, and... well... Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so... There is the entrance to the... Uh, oh, wow. Uh, hold on just a sec. Before... It's right here somewhere. Okay, hold on. Come on. I gotta find it. I gotta find it. I'm very obsessive with this whole thing. Okay, uh, Jesse and James are pretty stupid right now by letting me know what is around here. Sue, so, come on, come on. There it is! Okay, so we found ourselves a raspberry. That is awesome. Okay, so in the next episode, guys, yes, we will be going into the Team Rocket hideout, and we're going to be saving a little Cubone, destroying everything in, in sight, and, uh progressing our game forward uh let's see off screen i may or may not actually you know what i'm just gonna go straight for the uh for the game corner thing before i even try anything else because the goal is now to evolve leonardo into a blastoise and then after that you know i'm gonna be raising a lot of my pokemon up that way i have teams to to assemble and then just destroy everybody here on forward so thank you guys again for watching another episode of this walkthrough i will see you guys next time